Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBTQ plus stories from the left coast and around the globe. Keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. We post new videos every Saturday on YouTube and Facebook. So join me, Celsa Dulé, and my guest co-host every week and get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News. California honors LGBT veterans with a memorial. Go team! The NFL says bring on the male cheerleaders. Manchester Pride shows us the signs. Plus, heels up and our crush of the week. Get all your gay in just one day. Right here on G News. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of G News. This episode we have Profundity helping me helm the desk. I'm helming. Look Welcome. at me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks I'm for loving me. this look. This is another David original. This is a Mr. David original. This is my Judy Hobo look, which we like to leave and went so far as to because you're a sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite looks that David It's made fantastic. Me. And one other detail about this outfit is that it's made out of. It's uh, this is actually a catering tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> Has a matching pair of pants with suspenders that go with it because David has always wanted me to wear suspenders. He made this for me when I was in Chicago. That's funny that and he's I, always wanted you to I, be in I was Amos, so I took my Amos look to the clown place. And tell us how long it made it took him to make this. Oh, God, like 15 minutes. <laughs> he's a wild man. He's amazing. He is amazing. He's absolutely amazing. Well, we're happy to have you here again. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thank you. Thank you for having and me. And of course, and then David Original. <laughs> he's not responsible for the hair. I would never pin this on him. <laughs> That's all you. <laughs> if you're watching us today on YouTube, please subscribe. That'll help us get to a thousand which we're trying to do if you're watching on facebook please like and share that way you will never miss an episode what do you say we get to the news let's do it let's do it nothing against the bottoms but this segment is all about the tops California is a trailblazer of inclusion and equality with a new memorial honoring LGBTQ plus vets. It's true. It's remarkable that this is the first memorial ever of its kind and even more remarkable that it took so long to get recognized. That's right. The stone obelisk featuring an eagle and a pink triangle was built back in 2001 with letters of acknowledgement submitted by Presidents Gerald Ford, Bill Clinton, George Bush, and Barack Obama. The last attempt to make this memorial official was vetoed by then Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. But thankfully, Governor Jerry Brown thought differently and recognized this as the first LGBT plus veteran memorial in the U.S. Campaign supporter Tom Hernandez said, our perseverance has paid off. California is leading the nation by honoring the heroes, many of whom had to die in silence because they were forced to conceal their sexual orientation. Ready? Okay. We cheer and we leave. We act like we're on speed. Hate us because we're beautiful, but we don't like you either. We're cheerleaders. We are cheerleaders. <laughs> oh my God. Men are cheerleaders in the NFL, and I feel like I need to watch football now. It's kind of making me want to watch football. I hate football, but I love cheerleaders. <laughs> On August 17th, Jesse Hernandez hit the field with the New Orleans Saint Sations cheerleading squad and made history as the first ever male cheerleader to perform in the NFL. He is so adorable. Isn't he cute, that hairdo? The little hairdo, the I'm everything. All I'm all about it. And I love the towel. But I have to say, are we gendering pom-poms now? What's up with that? I know. I, no pom -pom? I, I think the, the logic might have been that they kind of like soft introduce him so they have him in jeans uh, and a towel. Yeah, and... he looks a little butch. Y yeah, right? <laughs> it's But, I mean, come on. He's part of the troupe. You should just have it all be... Just I love it. I love it. Same. He's clearly a really solid dancer. Totally. He's cre clearly excited about what he's doing. He's talented at it. He's good at it. He's saucy. He's got it down. I want to know if he's getting paid more. Right? <laughs> it's the well, wage cap prevalent they, there. They, they already don't get paid. I know. Hardly the, anything, I just right? saw an article last week, something about um, uh, uh, NFL cheerleaders only really over the course of a season make like 1000 or $2,000. Which is ridiculous because you look at how much the NFL players make. Yeah. They're athletes just the same. And how much work has to go into practicing a routine totally. and getting it happen. Here nor there. Because we have a guy who's out there doing his thing now. I and I love this it. is a trend, yes? It is a trend. So he's not the first male cheerleader. So there's already two that have been hired for the LA Rams, but he's the love first that. to actually have performed. So he got to perform before they have. So we'll get to see them. Made it to the big show. At some point. I'm gonna to have to start watching football now. Oh my god. See? Right? That's how they get us. 
<laughs> You're trying to get the gays. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to get the LGBT community to watch football. We're a desirable market. Thank you very much. We have a lot of extra money. Yes, <laughs> no, it's uh, my very first, well, one of my very first crushes was uh, this guy in high school who was our only male cheerleader in, in high school. He was, oh, Chris, he was so cute. Well, probably still is. <laughs> Hi, Chris, if you're still out there, uh, call me. <laughs> I remember how bendy you were. <laughs> no, but I love cheerleading. I think it's awesome. I've always wanted the movie Bring It On. Yeah. We stole that cheer from in the beginning. <laughs> um, I just, I've always wanted to be a cheerleader. We have a cheerleading squad here in San Francisco, Cheer, cheer SF. Yeah, Cheer SF. They're amazing. I talked to them about, um, about, auditioning for them or cheering for them but that's a lot of work it is a lot of work i'm it's old of, now <laughs> yeah my cheering like, happens kind of like it did in the opening of yeah. this segment i do like cheer i do chair cheering like chair, chair cheering. dancing yeah Fra- yeah especially if there's a drink <laughs> <laughs> well we're so happy that this is a new trend uh, i can't believe it's taken this long for the nfl to adopt or, i love or it bring them in in but. light of all of the crappy social justice decisions that the nfl has made know, right? in the this last couple uptick. of years this is uh, this is definitely at least one little tiny bone that we yeah. can all appreciate we'll yeah. take it we will take it i like it so i again i, I might start watching football now so we'll see but I want to check out the Rams and see how they do up against Jesse. Are you ready for some football? No, but I'm ready for some cheerleading. <laughs> <laughs> lots of cities and towns do lots of things to show their support for our community, especially around Pride season. San Francisco has the rainbow crosswalks. I love the rainbow crosswalks. Me too. We featured um, a story about a little town in Iceland that painted their, the main town through their ta- the main road through their town in rainbow colors. Cute. Well, in the UK, Manchester is doing something a little extra special for their Pride celebration. We just gotta be extra. A little bit. You know the walk symbol that illuminates on a cross signal when it's time to walk? Well, Manchester is replacing that symbol with gender symbols to represent lesbian, gay, heterosexual, and transgender relationships. I love that they included heterosexuality. Yeah. It's kind of an option, and it does appear on the rainbow somewhere, doesn't right? it, now? Talk about true inclusivity. I mean, I love that. It's like all of them. Yeah, it's fantastic. The thing I love about it is that it's so it's so UK. It's so literal. If you go to England and you get in an elevator, you're in a lift, right? You know, it lifts up. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Things are exactly what they say they are. <laughs> and when we're talking, we're not even talking about something as beautiful and wondrous but vague as a, a, a spectrum of rainbow we're talking about specific symbols, symbols yeah right up there with pure clarity it's kind of cool it's cool i love that i kind of it's only they're only doing it for pride season but i kind of wish it would just stay yeah. you know like yeah you look up and instead of the walk it says you know the two male symbols or the two female symbols or, or you know all of them like i think we should i think we should uh, start talking to the city about putting that at 18th and castro i think so i think <laughs> that would so that would, cool. be, that would be really great but then you're also <laughs> you're, if you are super literal you might not want to cross if exactly. you're not too bad <laughs> you're like, I can't oh, go now. only lesbians can cross right now so, <laughs> let's go so don't do that <laughs> But we love it. Thank you, uh, Manchester. This is fantastic. I love that they're having all of these different things all over the world to show their pride and support. Anytime we get to honor people for being themselves is a beautiful, beautiful time. Yes. We have a brand new segment titled Legs Up, and it's all about sex. (laughs) Sex in parks and public places has long been a part of gay culture. The, the term cruising is originated from a Dutch term called cruisen. I think I'm saying that correctly. I looked it up. <laughs> it is Dutch. <laughs> but it's still a code word that's, that's used today. And even though that we have bars and, and apps, cruising is still a popular pastime. Well, now you can let your freak flag fly in Guadalajara. Woo! The Mexican state of Jalisco recently approved a law that makes it legal to have sexual relations and encounters in public. With one caveat, no one can complain. Ooh, did you hear that? No one can complain. You better make sure that sex looks good. Gotta be real, real pretty. Hot sex <laughs> only. <laughs> Otherwise, no bueno. Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine? Oh, come on, honey, let's get him come at the park. And then some buddies over there going, Ew. No, get your ass up. <laughs> it's not pretty enough. I don't wanna see that flapping on that. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Flapping. Flapping is a word that, that you don't really... That is a very interesting uh, caveat. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, 
the, one of the reasons that I read this article about it, one of the reasons is that they're allowing this law is that they want the law enforcement to focus on what they find more important issues. I love that. Don't look at the sex. I love That's that. That's fine. Yeah. Let's worry about the drug dealing and let's worry about the the burglaries and all that kind of stuff and let them have their sex in the park. <laughs> I think I it's fantastic. That. I do have to say, though, if it's anything like San Francisco and I come home and I find people like <laughs> coming at it on my porch, I'm going to be just like I am for the guy who's shooting up or trying to poop there. I'm going to be, okay, it's let's go. Time to go. Because at that point, it sounds like it's still going to be messy regardless. I hope of what your flag doing. is flying high and wide. <laughs> I think it's great. Uh, way from my doorstep. <laughs> The only <laughs> stick to the parks. The only other place that that we know of that you could do this is is um, uh, uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah, yeah. Amsterdam is so cool. Hence the Dutch word that came from cruising. Yeah, yeah. There's a little history lesson for our you cruising there. ancestors, <laughs> the queens of the freak flag. I think it's fantastic. It's also noteworthy that Jalisco, the state of Jalisco, Puerto Vallarta. Uh -huh is in the state of Lisco. I can hear you all clicking and buying your tickets right now. I would like to get a ticket to <laughs> Puerto Vallarta. Pronto. <laughs> tickets for two. Tickets. Or one. You could go meet somebody at a park somewhere. Anyway, I think it's fantastic. I, that's very interesting to me. Go Jalisco. Yeah. Giddy up. <laughs> is that your heart beating? No. It's our crush of the week. So I was reading an article recently that talked about how gay men are misogynistic. Oh, yeah, they totally can be. Yeah, that some people in our community kind of bag on or trash uh, gays that are that are femme, saying that they want everyone to be kind of like the super ultra, ultra you know, masculine top, and that somehow being feminine is a bad thing. And unfortunately, it's it's true, yeah, I can't that, true. that that exists. And even more so for me, because I'm one of those guys that is mostly femme. I'm sometimes much... Mostly femme, you know, I love heels and, and nail polish and bags and stuff. And then I also sometimes don't. I know how to fix a car. I know Taekwondo. I can kick your butt in heels. <laughs> so I'm all of those things. I'm just me. And I don't like those labels. Yeah, no, I agree completely. I think the labels are a waste of time and energy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This week's crush has put a bow on that concept with his first ever single, John Duff. Whew. His new single, Girly, is an homage to femme fabulousness. I gotta say, I love this video. I love the, the, the brazen wonderment and embracement of all of this young man's femme qualities. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that there's no, there's no apologizing. There's no all the way femme. There's no all the way butch. But this is clearly... Uh, uh, a man who has thought about things and, and uh -huh. thought about who he wants to be and is letting it all be what it needs to be. And I like that he's happy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I, I for being happy. I, I mean, I, I want to. I want to embrace and see people who are. I get most excited about things when I am interacting with somebody who is square in the knowledge of who they are. Yes. One of the reasons that I have such a great amount of love and respect for anybody who has come out period, yeah. is their ability to say, this is who I am and I love myself. Mm -hmm. And I will love you for who you decide you want to be. That's right? far That's more what affirming is and all about. wonderful than, than adhering to some kind of gender. So bring me your pink crochet halter top. <laughs> bring Literally, me I really your want bandless that. jeans. Yeah, Salsa wants that, I by really the way. Want so. that Please. I, yeah, he's plus he's talented. He's he's he can sing. He he wrote that song. Yeah. He produced the video. Yeah. Um. He's you know he's talented and yeah. he's hot. And he's got all kinds of folks in the video with him. He's got yeah. fabulous Dexter from the uh, Marco Marco runway yes! shows. He's got uh, Bianca Del Rio being her over the top ridiculous self. He's got Wonderful. Willem. Willem. Being Willem. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's a it's a lovely piece of work. And, and her uh, overglossed lip, which I love. <laughs> I love an overglass lip. Thank you, Willem. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's a fabulous piece. Yeah, and totally. I, I highly encourage that you check it out. <laughs> In an interview with Out Magazine, John said, I had a devastating experience when I was 21, and I was on The X Factor. Simon Cowell completely offensively alluded that I was transgender and had not realized it yet. And Paula Abdul called me strange. For years, I thought I was never going to be able to work in this business because I am too girly. And that's what girly came from. 
Now I have more followers than the winner of that season of X Factor, so they can suck my dick. And for the record, John, I totally want to. <laughs> 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 because he's smart, funny, talented, hot, and girly. He is our crush of the week. Just look at him. Well, that's all we've got for this episode of G News, where you get all your gay in just one day with your hosts, Celsa Dule and Profundity. Thank you so much for tubing in and getting all of your queer news from us and Glitter Bomb TV. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. We're still trying to get to a thousand, and that is how you can help us get there. If you're watching on Facebook, well, then please like and share. That way, you will never miss an episode. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it for this episode of G News, where you get all your gay in just one day. With your hosts. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Same as last time. Same as last time. With all right. Your host. There's a pattern <sighs> emerging. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode of G News, where you get all your gay in just one day. With Celsa Delay. <laughs> and profundity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. God, bless America. Okay. So sex in parks. Why did I sound like a preteen right there? Come <laughs> on, oh, Peter Brady. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Who run the world? Celso. Oh. <laughs> California is a trailblazer for inclusion and equality. It with God, I knew this would happen. Right. <laughs> California is a trailblazer for LGBT. <laughs> California is a trailblazer for inclusion and equality with a new. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> ah! California is a trailblazer for inclusion and equality with a new memorial honoring. <laughs> words out of my mouth. What is it about this phrase? All right, I can do it. I'm so close. All right. She's like edging up until now. <laughs> California is a trailblazer. <laughs> it just deteriorates. The words just gets further back. It's I'm going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be rocking in a corner. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. California is a trailblazer of <laughs> inclusion. God damn it. This is going to be the best outtakes this ever. This is where it happened. <laughs>